Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at La MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news update and information, including your Maverick information for this Maverick Monday here. And I had somebody last week that mentioned uh, that they didn't know that their vehicle came with pre-collision assist until it, it happened to them while they were driving. So they said, hey, could you go over some of the safety features that are on our vehicles? So that's what we're going to do in today's video. We're going to talk about those different safety features that are a standard on all of your Mavericks and some other safety features that you can get as part of some, a couple of different packages and maybe clarifying what packages and what comes with what package on that. We talked about it on our live stream last week, but uh, not a lot of people watch that the live stream. So let's do it. Let's cover in this video. So we're getting get started here. And of course, if you do like these videos, make sure you're subscribed. Notification bell is turned on so you don't miss any of these Maverick Monday videos as well as our other videos. And come join us on Tuesday nights. We have a lot of fun in here on our live stream, talking the community, answering questions that you might have and talking about scheduling. So let's get into this um, and let's talk about some of these safety features. So first off, I want to talk about is I'm probably going to throw some images on here because just seeing me talk for uh, for a few minutes is probably not going to be really interesting. So any graphics I have, I'm going to throw them on the screen for you guys. But first, let's talk about safety in general that about every vehicle has, and that's your airbags. So driver and front passenger uh, we'll get a dual stage airbag in the front. That means that dual stage means it'll deploy a different size airbag. Depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. So the driver will get that from the uh, the steering wheel there in the middle and the passenger uh, right there by that glove box and such. So you're going to have that air, airbag deploy there for you. The driver will also get a knee airbag. And that's going to deploy down from the steering column. So they have that front collision and that comes into you it protect your knees and such and legs from those front collisions uh, driver and front passenger will also have a side impact airbag that means there's an airbag on the side of the seat that if there's a side collision somebody comes to the intersection to hit you it's going to pull that airbag to help protect uh, from that hitting you and such so that's going to deploy over there Safety canopy side curtain airbags as well. So with a rollover sensor. So if the vehicle is going to roll over, it's going to pull those airbags automatically because when you roll over, you have sheet metal and glass windows coming in. So it helps kind of a pillow around there. So you're going to always have that. Now, we just mentioned a little bit ago, the pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking and pedestrian detection. So what that's going to mean is that you, if you're going along, and it has some front sensing says front collision warning sensors up there. So if you're going along car in front of you, maybe they're turning and they're taking a little while to turn. Right. And you're not paying attention. Maybe you look over just for a second when they start to turn and they slow down and you're, you would hit them. It's going to alert you. It's going to on the productivity screen. It's going to light up red series of tones that you will not miss. <laughs> then uh, that'll alert you as well uh, so that you need to so that we, you, you, you kind of press your brakes. Also, it preloads the brakes. So automatic emergency braking means it's going to preload them. And so that when you press the brake, it's going to brake even faster. So it kind of like it gets them ready for that collision there for you. Um, so that way you can stop them faster. And pedestrian detection, yes. If pedestrians are going by and you're not paying attention, it detects pedestrians as well ahead of you. So that's a pretty good system. Also, you do have post-collision braking, uh, which if you're in an accident um, and maybe you are unconscious and aren't able to put it in drive, uh, or in park, sorry, <laughs> or maybe you're in drive and you don't even think about it because you, you, man, all the, the the motions and everything going on, you get in a collision. Maybe you don't even think about put it in in into park. Um, then it's going to uh, break the vehicle post collision. So also one of the things you will know in a lot of vehicles and the reason that the uh, that dial shifter is important is that when you if you have that in drive and you open the door, it'll automatically put it in park. That's just a nice safety feature to have. Uh, they've been doing that with some of the, the column shifters on the F-150s as well recently, but that's just a nice little other feature. I didn't have it listed in here, but that is uh, kind of a safety uh, precaution you have there too. Also, we do have the E-Pass, electric power assist steering. So electronically controlling that steering. So when you're wanting to turn, um, it's going to slower speeds. It's going to make it a little bit easier to turn parking lots, that kind of thing. But then it's going to stiffen it up a little bit more when you're on the highway going faster speeds. So you don't, you know, turn real easy, right? You don't want that to happen either. So um, that's, you're going to find that come into play with the evasive steering assist we're going to talk about later, but that is not standard on those evasive steering assist that is. Um, so E-Pass pretty important and uh and makes that a little bit easier now speaking of that making it a little bit easier to turn uh the steering and everything like that uh does have um some man there was something i was going with that because i didn't list it in here but 
uh, e pass. Oh, that goes along with the uh, act, the auto start stop as well. So, a lot of people on the EcoBoost engines, when you come up to a stoplight stop sign, press that brake, it's going to shut the engine off. Well, your steering needs power to power that, and you have to have the vehicle turned on to do that. So, that's why if you do turn the steering wheel, uh, it might maybe kind of almost it doesn't lock it up, but it kind of makes it to where the power is not going to the steering wheel. So, it'll kind of feel like it's locked up. But if you just give it a little bit, it'll actually turn the engine off on because it needs that to be able to steer it so that's why i say sometimes in my videos if you just turn the string wheel it'll activate that the engine to come back on also if you come up off your brake just a little bit it will as well all right now let's talk about some other things and that is the secure lock passive and a theft system what does that mean that basically means only the coded key can start the vehicle whether you have an xl or xlt with the flip key that you start or if you have the uh key for the auto the intelligent access with the push button on the lariats that only that coded key being in the vehicle can start the vehicle so that's a nice and a theft system um for kids let's talk about some safety for back there you do have the child safety locks on those rear doors so you can lock those out so they can't open those when you don't want them to also you have the latch system that's that lower anchors and tethers for children that's going to securely allow you to fasten those front and rear facing car seats into those back of those seats on those outbound seats um, so you'll have that as well as there's a little position on the back of those seats, which isn't easy to get to, let me tell you, um, to be able to fasten those in the back there to keep the top of it, that front facing car seat from going forward. So that system is something that's real nice and, and to use, uh, but does make it a little harder to get to your jack. We talked about that last week. Still, still, still upset about that one. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, that last system is very uh, nice to have uh, for those car seats. Now, little known fact. Can you put a car seat in the middle? Yes, you can, but you can't put one in the middle and beside it and use the, the same latch system. So there's going to be four anchors on that. So it's made to position those on the outside seats, one on each of those. So that way you use all four of those. You should not buckle two car seats to the same latch system. Um, so if you have one on the on the one side and you have it on those two and you have one on the other side, well, you can use one of the latches on the other seat, the, the inner one, as well as the inner one from the pass the, the passenger side. Right. But if you're using that you and you have one on the, together, you should not buckle those into the same hook. If that makes sense. So in that case, like my daughter's doing, uh, she's going on vacation. The the five year or the six year old will help the baby. And keep the baby kind of occupied. It's kind of nice. He, he like sings to him and everything else, which is kind of fun. But on that system, he ha they actually have to use the shoulder heart, shoulder belts if they want to put that one in the middle. So uh, that's what they're doing on their trip. But normally they would put it in the latch system on the driver's side. So anyway, wanted to throw that out there for you. Uh, what else? Uh, we do also have um, the perimeter alarm. Now, the perimeter alarm is only available in XLT and Lariat, not available in XL. Uh, the perimeter alarm basically means when you lock that vehicle up, it's going to set that perimeter alarm. Uh, I don't know if you've ever, if you have an XLT or Lariat, you've walked up to the vehicle a little bit and you hear something activate in it. That's the perimeter alarm. It's it's knowing there's somebody there. So that's kind of activating that. I hear it on my expedition all the time. I did it last night. I, it kind of went off on me or kind of like turned on. I was like, what is going on? Um, that's that perimeter alarm being activated. So if somebody tries to, you know, raise the, the front or the back to take wheels off, there's an inclination sensor as well as an intrusion sensor. So if it knows if somebody breaks glass and goes inside, it's going to honk the horns, flash a light. So people um, know that someone's trying to break into your vehicle. A couple other features that are act that are available on the XLT trim um, and this in here also on the Lariat trim, and that is the wiper activated headlights called rain lamp. So when the wipers are on, the headlights will come on. Now, I didn't see that it was in my notes on the XL, but it could be on the XL. I'd be surprised if it's not, but I didn't see it in my notes on my XL from when I did the video. So, um, yeah, try it sometime. But turn your wipers on. See if the headlights come on <laughs> on your vehicle on your XL. So let me know. Uh, drop it down in the comments. Also, uh, manual folding mirrors with the power glass and the blind spotter mirror. So that is only available on the XLT trim. So we're going to talk about the bliss in a second where that would you wouldn't need that. But that blind spotter mirror is an angled mirror in the corner. And you're going to see that on only the XLT trim. And the reason I say only XLT is on the XL, you do not have that mirror like that. And then if you don't go up with the Copilot 360 package, it will be a different mirror. So either way, it will not have that spotter mirror. But on the XLT as standard equipment, you will have that spotter mirror in the corner. So you can see the vehicles in your blind spot a little bit better. Uh, and then, of course, if you go up to the um, 
the Copilot 360 package, it'll be a different mirror with the sensor over there. And then on Lariat, that's standard. So, which brings me to the Copilot 360 package. Copilot 360 package is standard on the Lariat trim and is optional on the XL and XLT trim. And this package, we talked about this in our live stream, includes your blind spot information system. Uh, so it's going to monitor your blind spots and put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. And if you have a turn signal on, it's going to blink as well. And then you do use those same sensors for your cross traffic alert. So that means as you're backing up, someone's going to cross your path behind you, it's going to alert you. Series of tones uh, puts it on the screen as well, uh, tells you you shouldn't back up because there's someone coming. Uh, so that's, uh, I actually really like both of those features. I think it should be standard on every vehicle. Um, and then we do, as part of this package, get the lane keeping system. So this has three functionalities within this system, and that is that you have a driver alert that's going to alert you if you're taking your hands off the steering wheel too often. And then you also do have the lane keeping system the, or the lane keeping aid and alert. So the alert system will still allow you to leave your lane, but when you go cross over the line, it's gonna vibrate the string and let you know you've left your lane. The, the aid system will help try to keep you in your lane. Now this doesn't work 100% of the time. If those lines are worn and you can hardly see them, the system can't see them either. Um, so if you get over to that line and you can, they can see that, then it'll actually bring it back in. If you have this activated and you do activate it on your, I think one of the stocks on the, the side, you I think you press that and it will activate that. Um, and when you do that, then you'll see the lines there. And if those lines are green, then it knows there's a line there. If it's not green, then it doesn't see it. If it's like grayed out, then it doesn't see that line. Uh, also, if they're like, I think an amber color, then that means they know you're kind of close to it. Uh, so it kind of helps. Now you can use the aid and alert together. And what that'll do is try to keep you over. And when you get to that line, bring you back into your lane, but also would vibrate the steering wheel because you got too close to that line. So, um, and also on the XLs as part of this package, you're also getting power mirrors. Uh, it's already standard on XLT and Lariat, um, but you're going to get the power mirrors as well. Cause to activate these things, it needs power to the mirror. So in effect, you get the power mirrors as well. So there you go. Um, there is another uh, pack, another feature you get on the Copilot 360 on the XL or on the hybrids, um, but that's not really a safety feature unless you, well, maybe it is. Full-size spare tire can be a safety feature. Uh, that is optional on your EcoBoost. As part of the Copilot 360 package on the hybrids, you get full-size spare uh, as well. So uh, there you go. Um, okay. The next package I'm going to talk about is the Copilot 360 Assist Plus package. Now, this package here is standard on Lariat not available on the XL or the XLT. And this package is where you get your adaptive cruise control. A lot of people want that, and they think because they hear Copilot 360 in the name that if they get the Copilot 360 package, they get the adaptive cruise, and that is not true. It's Copilot 360 Assist Plus package. you got to see that Assist Plus on there. And again, only available and now standard on all area trim vehicles. So you're going to get the adaptive cruise control here, and that gives you the stop and go, which means if you, you know, come up behind somebody and they're going slower than you, it's going to slow you down to go their speed until you can pass them. If you can't pass, you'll go that, that speed. Don't have to press the brake at all. If they come to complete stop, well, so do you. Uh, if they take off, you just hit your resume button and you resume um, uh, and, and go on as slow as you can as right behind them, keeping that distance from them. Also, you get the lane centering as part of this, which one of my favorite features of this is to keep you in the center of your lane. So uh, you still have to steer because it'll warn you and tell you to put your hands on the steering wheel or take over. You still need to steer, but it does kind of assist in that. So that way you don't have to work so hard to keep it in the middle. You can kind of just, you know, ease on, on in it because it's going to keep you in the center of your lane. And that again, that is just an assist feature. It's not going to work every time. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, and then evasive steering assist, which kind of talked about the e-pass and how that works. This kind of uses that e-pass technology that if you are not able to break in time to before of, uh, hitting that vehicle, but maybe there's nobody in that lane beside you and you can avoid them and you want to steer around them, then it's going to ease the assist in steering around them. Um, that is actually a feature along with all these features. So you can activate and deactivate in your settings. And then we do also get the rear parking sensors on this as part of this package. So as you're backing up, not only going to be able to see behind you, but now you're going to get alert if you get too close to anything. So those parking sensors, this is the only way to get them. Part of this package, again, 
only way you can get this package is standard on Lariat now. So, all right, I think I've covered all of the uh, the safety features I had. If you had any safety features I might have missed that you think are important to you, drop them down in the comments. Love to put those in and start that conversation. Um, and uh, yeah. I think I covered everything. So appreciate you guys watching these Maverick Monday videos. I think we're, what, 28 episodes in. We will not have an episode next week. First one this year that we've missed. I will be on vacation, so we will not have a Maverick Monday video next week. Um, but hopefully the week after, I'll have some fun video for you. Depends on what I'm able to talk about. Hopefully we have a video of some fun information, at least some information about when you're going to receive information. That'll make sense in two weeks. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. Till the next one, enjoy your Maverick if you have one. Hopefully you get your soon if you don't have one yet and you have an order in. And until the next video, stay positive, be kind to one another, be kind to yourself, and we'll see you in that next video.